Hello, everyone. Uh, we are in theme two. In part two, in theme two, uh, we are still with the research problem. In this uh, second, uh, in, the, in this uh, part, theme two part, uh, and part two about the research problem, we shall cover two uh, important points. First one concerns the sources of the res of research problem. What are the sources uh, on which we have to rely in order to, uh, to choose a research problem? And sec the, the last uh, point in this uh, second part concerns defining a research problem. What we should do to define and how we define a research problem. Uh, generally, when we talk about the research sources of research problem, we talk about different sources. Examples of these sources are personal experience of the research in the field, literature review on the research topic, new innovations, changes, and developments in a given research area, research contacts with experts in the given research area. Overall, uh, when we, uh, how we come to choose a research problem, generally it's based on the researcher's personal experience in the field, either as, uh, for example, a learner, as a teacher, and while he or she is within these two contexts, learning, teaching, and learning, the researcher may have come up with some experiences or may have come up with some observations. Based on these experiences and based on these uh, observations, uh, a researcher can, uh, can, can find a problem that he is interested in it. And of, of course, as we said before, is interested for others and the researcher can go on and do research on this and choose a research problem. Literature review on a research topic. When we talk about literature review, simply we mean reading. Some people, while reading about a given topic, different sources, different studies, previous studies, generally previous studies, they, 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 may, they may find some contradictions. They may find some, uh, something missing. They may find something inaccurate. They may notice that there is, there is a failure in, in a given point or given points. So while reading, uh, the research, uh, a researcher may come up with something, generally we call this gap, a gap, a gap in this reading. And this gap could be a problem and could, could be a problem to, to, to research. That's why uh, overall, uh, when we talk about uh, how we can come up with a research problem, we, as we said before, as we have said so far, we think of three uh, ways, either uh, observation, through ob observation, or through uh, experience, or through uh, literature review or reading. Sometimes we can come up with a problem based on what is occurring as changes uh, in, in our research uh, area, a research uh, uh, study. For example, the new innovations, the new changes and developments in a given area may, may give new insights, new ideas, new assumptions and at the same time this may raise new problems to be investigated and to be researched and of course uh, research contacts i think this is very important in any research uh, in any research uh, field uh, research contacts uh, discussions especially with knowledgeable people with experts with people who have a certain experience previous for example i can give here an example students they may discuss with uh, previous students who have carried out uh, before some uh, uh, research investigations, they have some experience. Discussing with them, they uh, may may uh, may get them inspired, may get them uh, discover new uh, new research topics, new research areas, new research problems. So I think research contacts is very important. Discussing with knowledgeable people. Uh, knowledgeable people, they have some uh, background, and this background can be uh, a rich a ground on which, especially novice research, they can learn from it, and they can uh, get new insights and get inspired to choose a research problem. Uh, overall, these are the sources of a research problem. Now, let's define a research problem, and why we define a research problem. We can say that defining a research problem sets the direction of the study. Of course, when, when we choose a problem, and the problem is well outlined, the problem is well described, and it is well defined. This, from the very beginning, it's, it's like you put yourself as a researcher on the right track, on the right track, and you, you, you will avoid, as a researcher, you avoid that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, clumsy 
uh, and that feeling that uh, someone is within something that that is too vague, too broad, it's not clear. So okay, so defining a research problem will uh, set clearly and clearly the direction of a research study. Of course, defining a research problem reveals the methodology or procedure of the study. Of course, the method to choose the methodology is not something that you you choose based on on imitation or based on what others have done. Or yeah, you can get inspired from the others previous studies works but to choose a methodology there are some uh, some uh, criteria to, to consider but generally choosing a problem and then uh, when you choose a problem and then you answer a question regarding what to do to solve because usually when you choose a problem you have the problem and you think of a solution to the problem and then in between between or between the the problem and the solution of the problem what to do Answering this question will give you a, a, a first idea about what methodology and what uh, methodological procedures are you going to use in this study regarding the data collection methods, regarding data analysis procedures before the data collection methods, the data analysis procedures, what research design, what research approach are you, uh, is going to be your uh, research study. Of course, defining a research problem helps the researcher to control subjectivity. Subjectivity that means um, through uh, logical and uh, reasoning through uh, critical thinking through uh, being very scientific you, you, you uh, as a researcher uh, and when you define your problem you can eliminate that subjectivity that generally affects negatively in a research study defining a research problem makes the research work practical of course uh, when you define the problem generally again and again and again when we talk about the problem we think of the solution what to do and this will give you uh, a ground for, for, for the practical uh, side of your study, what to do. And this should be done at an early stage. You have not to think of a problem and not don't think of the solution. And then you start thinking of some steps in research process. And then you will talk about the, the solution or what to do later on. And this will, uh, you, will, you, will, you will discover that it's not possible to, 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 to carry out this application and this will uh, make you uh, put in a very difficult situation. So I think that from the very beginning, you think of the problem, you think of the solution to the problem, what to do, and if all the questions you raise are answered uh, with an affirmative way, then you can go on without any fear to carry out and to conduct your research study. Uh, of course, the researcher should have to develop a conceptual framework of the problem. The researcher should delimit the elements of a research problem. The researcher should locate the key concepts in the conceptual framework. The researcher should evaluate the theoretical security of the problem. The researcher should transform the research problem into verbal form. The researcher should decide the practical difficulty in conducting the research uh, study or the study. So all these statements, they mean that you think of a problem, you have to draw a conceptual framework of the problem, you identify the important elements in the problem, and then if everything is clearly and concisely identified and defined, so you won't uh, encounter any difficulties when it comes to uh, conduct and to carry out your research. Uh, so this is uh, all about the second part of Team 2 uh, regarding the research problem. Thank you very much indeed.